Grüß euch und Servus miteinander. Well, that's the way how we say hello in the Bavarian dialect. But don't be afraid, I'm not um, keeping this video in Bavarian dialect, but in English with a Bavarian accent. Let me introduce myself. My name is Dieter von Schura and I'm the owner and manager of the Ortolino Company. Uh, what does the Ortolino Company? Well, um, we sell Japanese art prints in weekly online auctions and we've done that since 2001. So we are the Methuselahs of online selling of Japanese prints in the internet. Today's video is about an important artist of the 19th century. His name is Tomikichiro Tokoriki. He became rather old, was born in 1902 and died in 1999. Well, so he discovered practically the complete 20th century. If you're a little bit familiar with Japanese woodblock prints of the 19th century, you know there are two art movements. One is the Sosaku Hanga art movement and the other the Shin Hanga art movement. So basically the Sosaku Hanga artists, these are the tinkerers who made everything themselves, who thought um, an artist must uh, do not only the designs, but only carve the blocks and also do the printing. And the Shinanga artists followed, well, this old tradition of Japanese ukiyo-e printmaking of the 19th and 18th century, where they only made the designs and skillful and very intensively trained artisans, they made the carvings and they made the printings. When you um, buy an art print by Tomikichi or Tokoriki, you basically get um, two artists in one because he worked in both styles, in both, both art movements. But let's go back um, to his art training. Well, he was born not in Tokyo as most um, woodblock printmakers of the 20th century, but he's from Kyoto. Kyoto, the old imperial residence, the residence of the, the emperor, that was a very good ground for artists and artisans. So why? Because the emperor, until 1868, he was without any power. The real power was held by the shoguns. But he was kept, the emperor, in a kind of a golden uh, cage and was financially well equipped by the ruling shoguns. And so the, the imperial family could spend a lot on arts and on artisan products. And Tomikichiro Tokariki was born in an old family of artists. Um, he can trace back 13 generations of artists until the 15th or 16th century. Tomikichiro Tokoriki uh, himself, he underwent a very intensive training. I think he spent seven years um, with different artisans and, and artist colleges and universities or whatever. In 1923, he graduated from the Kyoto Art Gala, um, College at that time he was already 21 years old and because usually um, at that time the um, training started at an age of 14 he had learned not only how to paint how to design how to draw but also he had learned very well how to make woodblock prints so he could do that himself we basically didn't need carvers and printers. While he was still at college, he came into contact with the Susaka Hanga artists from Tokyo. He met guys like Onichi Hiratsuka, Shiko Munakata, Masao Maeda, or Hidekawa Nishi from Kobe. The others were from 
Tokyo as most of the woodblock printmakers of the 20th century. Well, I told you, you get two artists in one. Tommy Kichiro Tukuriki made his living mainly with woodblock prints in the style of Shinhanga. Well, what was that? The Shinhanga artists followed the old tradition. They only made the design and they worked together with the publisher. And the publisher had employed carvers and printers. And that here is an example of a typical Shinhanga artist and collectors mostly know these lovely prints in pastel colors, um, well made, not technically challenged in, in any way. But the real passion of Tommy Kichiro Tokoriki, his heartbeat was for Sosako Hanga. There's a quote from Tommy Kichiro Tokoriki uh, in one of the, the books about um, woodblock printmaking in the 20th century. And this quote is like, I'd rather do nothing but creative prints, but after all, I sell maybe 10 of them against 200 for a publisher artisan print. He called these publisher artisan prints with a certain disdain. And until today, not much, not much has changed actually. So Sankhua Hanga has remained a small but exclusive market niche. Um, whereas the most of uh, the majority of collectors, they go for the Shin Hanga art prints. Well, Tomi Kichiro Tokoriki, he also made series, um, series in Shin Hanga style. This is from his best series, best known series, 36 Views of Mount Fuji. It was published by Uchida. And this one shows the ferry landing at Ejiro Harbor. Tokoriki Tomikichiro became rather old, I already told you, and he also worked as a teacher. Um, among his students are many Japanese printmakers, but also some from outside Japan, like Daniel Kelly, David Stones. They had come to Japan to learn the Japanese way of printmaking. Tokoriki Tomikichiro he had a studio in an old house, 200 years old, um, in a compound with a nice garden. And that house was not far away from the Imperial Palace. Today it doesn't exist anymore, it was replaced by condos or skyscrapers. These old single homes have mostly disappeared as in all larger Japanese um, cities. But there he had the studio, there he trained his studio, his uh, students. And there, you must imagine, there was a huge gate at the entrance. And at this entrance gate, he had a tea shop where he sold um, tea. That was a kind of stable income for an artist, because even successful artists, um, it, their income is always unstable and of course they like to have uh, a second leg <laughs> and if it's selling tea, it's fine. Prices for Shinhanga prints by Tokoriki Tomikichiro are in the lower section. Um, the reserves, the reserve that is the minimum um, bid you have to place in an Ortolino auction. They start at $50 for a smaller print and a print like this, $100, $150 um, minimum bidding price plus commission. Well, uh, enough for today about Tokoriki Tomikichiro. We have prints by him in nearly every of our weekly auctions. And um, we not only have um, 
weekly online auctions. Our website, otolino.com, offers by far more. We have um, a section uh, about where we offer information about Japanese prints. You can find there more than a thousand articles about Japanese prints, many of them artist biographies, but not only, and more than a hundred videos and an archive of 60,000 sold prints available uh, for clients of Ortolino. Please um, check our auctions every now and then because with our, with your bids, you also support our non-commercial uh, content section about Japanese prints. Well, so much for today. Thanks for watching and have a nice week. Goodbye.